I got to park the truck for the night and get on the road in the morning. He was supposed to head down the road to Florida. Why he left the trailer on its own overnight in this lot, investigators don't know. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. Didn't know I could choke you through the TV, did you? But I can. What's going on, YouTube? How y'all feel tonight? I appreciate you guys listening. Thank you very much for checking in in another episode of the Recruiter Call Channel podcast this evening. This uh, particular video is going to be a response video. I saw a comment in one of the community posts, and instead of, uh, of typing out my comment, I would rather give you my thoughts on the comment. Now, unfortunately, the comment is taken down. I wish I can put it back up, but unfortunately, it was taken down. So, sorry, but I want to respond to you, Robert Vanacore. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. That's if it's your last name. I'm not even sure if it's a if it's a channel, you know, because in order to comment, you have to have a YouTube channel. And a lot of you guys only make channels just for you to comment. So let me help you out with your comment. So the initial post shows a driver went home i guess it was his 10 hour or something like that but he went home to come back to his truck being broken into or his his trailer being broken into no more wasting time let's get it hold on yeah jackie tracy you could call this a dime heist or as you ladies mentioned diamond dash but what you saw here today was essentially dimes as far as the eye could see scattered all over this parking lot here at franklin mills and now that it's all cleared up you can only imagine how long it took and how difficult it was to clean up all of those coins at first glance this may look like some sort of crime scene they're pretty busy overnight, as we can see. But get closer and you'll see it's a dime scene. Overnight, a carrier parked his tractor trailer. That tractor trailer, police say, was carrying three quarters of a million dollars worth of dimes. Its driver had picked up the load from the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia. Common practice with drivers to pick up loads. He was going to Florida. They got to park the truck for the night and to get on the road in the morning. He was supposed to head down the road to Florida. Why he left the trailer on its own overnight in this lot, investigators don't know. Fellow trucker Damien Lager says it just makes no sense. No, no, not, no, it's not. You're supposed to stay with it. Whoever did this, police say, got away with around $100,000 worth, maybe even more. That's a lot of labor involved, too, moving that amount of weight. A laborious load, at least 5,000 pounds, and somehow they did so in the nick of dime, leaving coins cluttered and scattered everywhere. So and someone has to pick up all that change. While cargo thefts like this aren't uncommon, especially in the Northeast area, police do say it's a change from what's usually taken. Lamb, chicken, TVs, refrigerators, et cetera, taken, alcohol. Yeah, so police say it didn't take much to get into that tractor trailer, just a pair of bolt cutters to break the lock. They do say they are looking for surveillance video because they don't have a solid suspect description just yet. But again, we'll let you know if we hear any updates or if there's a change. And some of the people, I guess somebody made off with maybe about over a million dollars worth of dimes like 10 cent like silver dimes okay so the driver in the article uh the driver picked up a load from the u.s mint and it was worth about 700k 700k bro okay 700k 
k seven hundred thousand dollars in coins in particularly i believe this is dimes now i'm not sure in the article where they say where he was going but in the article it did say that he decided to park at a walmart parking lot and go home leaving the trailer full of full of money I'm, I'm going to say that because, you know, you got 700 K in the back of the trailer. Dude thought it was a good idea to go home. Like, hey, I'm, I'm just going to go in and park this 700 K, this high value load. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that the company that he was driving for kind of expressed the fact that the load was a high value load. I, I would imagine 700K is a high value load. And I, I also would imagine that being that it's a high value load, I, I would imagine that you wouldn't leave the truck and trailer alone in a Walmart parking lot. Okay, bruh. So to answer your simple question here. So you say while you're dropping off food, no one ever ran into the back of your truck and took something. I'm going to say yes. My truck in my trucking career, my truck was broken into. But the load that they took or the boxes that they took was toilet paper. I was, I, I, I will tell you where I was parked at. I, I was parked in a strip mall off 152nd in St. Clair. I had a lock on the trailer. I had a lock on the trailer. I came to the trailer and yes, somebody snatched off the lock and took a couple of boxes of Charmin. Okay. Now it was Charmin toilet paper. Wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a high value load. Okay. So a couple of boxes of Charmin, it's not going to hurt the company. You know, it was just a couple of bosses. As a matter of fact, it was like a, a damage short type deal. Delivered, good to go. But I would imagine the company would feel some kind of way if I would have left $700,000 in a Walmart parking lot unattended, bro. So I don't, you know, I, I, I'm not sure where you going with this comment, you know, that's, that's why I wanted to, you know, kind of make this response video because I'm not sure where you was actually going with this, but I'm going to assume you're not a truck driver. And, and if, 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 if you are, if you are, I'm, I'm kind of hoping I'm hoping that you would not leave a high value load unattended, bro. Okay. Because we truck drivers, I used to drive for this. I used to drive for us express and we get high value loads all the time. And they would tell us areas, places not to leave the truck unattended and not to park. In particularly, the pilot on Lamar, that Mike's on Lamar, and that damn sure that loves on Lamar in Missis Mississippi. Is it Mississippi? No, Memphis. No, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, in Tennessee. Lamar in Tennessee. I'm going to say it's in Tennessee. But 
we would get lists of of places where we can't park and lists of places where we can't leave the truck unattended bro i will imagine a walmart parking lot with a trailer was 700 and set over 700k in in the dot in dimes that you actually picked up from the u.s mint you know i i would assume that is one of the places that you don't leave your truck unattended i hope this answered your question thinking of a master plan this ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand so i dig into my pocket all my money spent dig deeper still coming up with lens so i start my mission leave my residence thinking how could i get some dead presidents i need money i used to be a stick-up kid so i think of all the devious things i did used to roll up this is a hold up nothing funny stop smiling you still